Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Manor Lords, shall we? Picking up where we left off. And we only have a few homeless. I mean, it could be worse, I guess, but we're building some new houses. And we do have an issue with the pantry and generic storage, but you can see this person is actually trying to take it using the cart, but unfortunately... Um, they're not using the road because it's up here, but hopefully it's not too slow moving it back and forth at that close proximity. We'll find out. So I'm going to go to construction and I'm going to build um, the logistics for a granary just requires two. And I probably want to put it over here kind of, you know, near the uh, resource stockpile. So, I could put it like that, or um, I could kind of... That's ah, being funky about rotating. Um, yeah, here we go. I want to kind of maybe put it along the road. Oh, it wants to snap to this road. I guess that's okay, sure. I also don't know if it's okay. I'm praying. All right, peeps. So, we've got a well. Let me see what this is all about. Nobody needs to work it. They could just come here if they need to. I'll speed it up. Just kind of watch what's going on. Uh, construction finished forager hut. So, again, I'd love to work here, but I don't have enough workers. So we'll probably need to build some more houses. Now they want... Uh, they have water access. They have a fuel stall supply. But we need some more market supply of maybe clothing and food. And they need a church. And there's three people living here. Um, but I think this is the wife, the son, and the husband. Okay, so son is working. Which is cool. I guess I thought that these only hold two people, but they must be able to just hold the whole family regardless of how many are in there, which makes sense. Okay, so I think then they're going to get on with completing the construction of this um, Burgage plot. Burgage. Burgage. I have no idea how to pronounce that. House. So we're just going to kind of let them do their thing. Watch the oxen move. And they already have the goods. They're just waiting for this to get done. But I think, you know, if I looked at what they're doing, the people who are unassigned are, are busy doing other things. So I'm actually going to just mess with this. I'm going to put the priority to finishing this to a little higher. See if they'll go do that instead of whatever it is they're operating on. Um, now they're moving. She keeps moving this log around. And somebody is coming over here to finish this, which is good. I probably need to build a hitching post at some point. Oh, no, there already is one. Okay, great. That's what I thought, but... That's a good location for it as well. I think the window should go over there. Ah, they're talking to each other about the uh, construction. That's kind of funny. All right, watch them. Oh, really? Dig deeper foundations, huh? Well, okay. We took a hit, but it's because of homelessness. So, you know, eventually, they'll finish this. There it goes. 
Bam. Almost done. Next house being constructed. Um, so fuel is a problem. Okay, new mercenary companies available. Now, I don't even know what that means. Like, if I want to hire mercenaries or something. Um, army? Create new units? No, I think we're okay. I mean, we might not be. I mean, it, it's possible we're not okay, but... So these are the homeless people's tents. And I can upgrade it to a worker camp. Well, it only takes one to do that. To get more population, you need to have enough empty uh, burgage plots and your approval rating needs to be over 50, which it's at 50. Does that count? Um, so hopefully we can get there. Um, settlement level increased to, uh, which is cool. New development point. All right. Sounds good. A new message. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived, and you'll now be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, we will need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other lands. All right, let's form a militia, I guess. Okay, so army, create new units. Now, I got 10 people who can be conscripted, I guess, and all I really have are spearmen. So um, I can go, you know, polearm militia, spear militia, but all I have are, I have some shields, and that's it. So we just go like one... You created your first militia unit. The male villagers will be evenly distributed between all militia units. They will then try to find the required equipment. The weapon and shield depends on the unit type, while the maximum quality of body armor and helmet depends on the villager's residential level. After bringing all the necessary equipment home, the unit recruits are marked as ready to rally. Only then will you be able to rally your unit. Okay. So... I don't know, I pushed that button, but then everything changed, like, I need more spears, um, but I don't know why, I mean, I only have 14 people total, and they're telling me that I need 36 people and 36 spears, or maybe that's, like, how many you would need to make a full army or something, I mean, so you can't just have, like, a an army with with 10 anyway i'll just pretend like that's good enough so people are still homeless is what it's telling me do we upgrade this yet they're working on it all right so i guess i'll wait for the the granary to be built and then I'll throw out some more construction. You know, maybe I don't... Maybe we're, like, getting so much wood that I can actually take some people off of wood. I think we're doing okay on that and then what i'll do is i will throw somebody i'm um, actually i'll let them just build for a minute so we can catch our breath we're going to build another plot so that we can get some more folk to move in Why do I have to carry this alone? just kind of speed it up So this is not being built... Oh, because we don't have enough stone. Oh, no, we do. They just need to transport it. Okay. 
Now there's stone down here as a deposit, which we could start gathering in a moment, I guess. They're finishing this. So this will, you know, allow them to house more people, I guess, in a fancier place. Okay, worker camp done. Good. Um, oh, okay. Family members join one of the settlers worker camp. All right, so that means somebody moved into that, I guess. It is raining. Okay, so they are not building this because... I guess they don't have the stone. Like, they're really focusing on this. Um, mining, I guess. Stone cutter camp? See, it looks like you can build it, like, right on top of the stone. So I'll connect it to, to a road there. One livestock. Number of months before supplies run out. Not promising. So I'm going to scale back again. And I'm going to put somebody on woodcutting. Okay. They actually are building this. They're finally doing this and delivering the goods. Exposed stock are getting soaked. Yeah, they are. We didn't build this fast enough. We're getting there. Okay, so now... Um, I guess somebody needs to work here to pick up food. So we'll put them there. I'll build a road there. We're running low on supplies. So as soon as they get this stonecutter's camp done, I probably need to throw in like... Um, oh, I need to get somebody foraging. Yeah. Okay. So these people are taking the food and putting it into the granary, which is good. Um, we still have a homelessness problem. Which, nobody's there. So I don't know why you're waiting. There's a house available for you. They just don't want to move in. But there's a house. Mm, I guess it still doesn't count. Or people haven't quite moved in yet. Hmm. All right, so food is a disaster. Um, I'm going to need to get somebody foraging. Mm. 
Like, it's nice that they set this up at the market stall and everything like that, but um, I think once this is done, hmm, I don't know. Once these supplies are out of the rain, I might kick somebody off of that. I mean, honestly, I guess I'll just take somebody off of logging for just for a bit because I need somebody foraging and I have plenty of timber in this point. All right, they finished the stone cutter camp, which is nice. So we'll get that eventually. But I am busy with like the fact that <laughs> I like how these people didn't get a front yard. Um, I'm busy with the fact that I don't have any food. So you know, if I want things, oh, okay, I clicked on this. Because I want to rename it. And then I didn't realize there was this specialize your region feature. After you reach the next settlement level, you'll be granted a development point to spend. Unlock development branches to make your region more efficient. To enact policies, you need to rise your administration level by building administrative buildings like the manor. Okay, fantastic. First of all, this has to be renamed. Um, Wald brand sounds good, but... Um, not quite as good as Incompetentia. So, I don't have any points to spend here. Got no policies. I got nothing. But one day. Oh, no, it does say I have one development point, doesn't it? Because I upgraded my settlement. So, um, an orchard tree. Um, we can make an apple orchard to produce apples. Okay. Which is good. I can make a... Heavy plow. Um, I can do sheep breeding. I can help um, my hunters trap. I could double the capacity of berry deposits, which I have. I could do beekeeping. I could do um, establishing a new tra a trade route always costs a minimum, a maximum of twenty-five regional wealth. That's nice. Foreign supplies. Um, armor making and charcoal burning. All right, so let's go ahead and get berries because I'm hungry. And one of the things I thought about was, you know, like look at this. I already grew a bunch, or I've already harvested a bunch of these, and I need to get more. So as my food is going, I have a forager here. Now, what does advanced mean for this? Um, connected to the road network. Okay, and it's unlimited. That's fine. I think that I might want to just say, you know what? We don't need a person at the storehouse. And we also probably, if I unpause it, and I have no complaints about homelessness or about goods not being you know, tidy, then I'm going to actually even take somebody off of the granary as well and f concentrate on doing some different kind of labor. So I know I want to probably, you know, build a farm of some kind, a field, so we could grow crops. I mean, we're dying here. So we need to build a farmhouse first and use to employ families on the field. Farm workers plow the fields as soon as winter passes, but no later than November. Then they sow them with the chosen crop. This happens around September. So we're still in April. Um, they're transported to the farmhouse, and wheat is threshed into grain. Okay, so where do we want to put something like this? How about here? I like... Um, oh, it matters where it goes. So I guess the crop depends on... The fertility? Emmer fertility. Now, I don't know if you want it to be more red or more yellow or more green, or what am I looking for here? I see colors, but... Uh...
I don't know how to interpret it necessarily. Um, here, help with uh, fertility. Let me look for this. No, that's not really what I need. Um, Um, well, shoot. Um, I'll build a farm. Now look, if you get close to it, you can see there's different symbols. So maybe it's not about intensity, but rather what crop you will grow there. Like, I don't know what the plus sign means. Minus, minus, okay, no. I now, never mind. It's not a picture of a crop. It's plus means good, minus means bad, minus, minus means worse. Okay, and then green is plus, plus. Okay, cool. Now I get it. Um. Well, then... Uh, let's go ahead and build it right here. And then what we'll do is we'll build a field, um, plotting the fields. Fields in Manor Lord need to be very large to be effective, but also take long to plow by hand. For a starting village, try a field size of about one Morgan. Don't know what that means. Later, if you want the region to focus on farming, you can consider spending a development point to unlock the heavy plow, which allows plowing much bigger fields. Okay. Also remember to check the ground fertility. Some crop types are picky about the soil they grow on. Got it. Okay, so... Uh, so my idea is... Oh, okay, it says field size zero Morgans. So what if I'm like... Point, that's only 0.6. Oh my god, it has to be enormous. Okay, um, they weren't kidding. Farming. Farmhouse employs families who work on the fields. The workforce is distributed proportionally in accordance with the field's set priority level. When crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility and thus diminishing yields over time. To combat this, consider changing crop types or, even better, leaving the field fallow for a year. Boy, I can't do that. No, I'll change crop types. Um, it's fine. So then, this field is fallow, but we're going to grow something, and we have a 36% fertility on wheat, so we'll just do that. And we'll put in um, a crop rotation, so for the second year, we'll go to flax and then barley. But flax is like, you're not eating that, so I don't know. I'll have to make a different field if I want to make that happen, I guess. All right, here we go. So I have some people who are unassigned. And do I want to really assign anybody to the stonecutter camp? Well, if I look at this, I have... I do have some stone left. So I'm not, like... It's not dire. We can throw together another... Uh, you know what we need is um, a tavern. 
but it needs ale. Um, so I guess we could build like a church. Oh god, it's enormous. Not enough goods. Oh, I need planks. Okay, so I'd have to. Uh, oh, that's a that's a tavern. No, no, that was a church. It just takes planks. A corpse pit. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, that means that we're gonna need. Um, a saw pit. Speed up, people. Make the dream happen. How are we doing on uh, food? Awful. Well, they're growing, so this is filling up. I'm going to put another group on foraging. Now, they're working on making firewood, which is reasonable. Okay, we have 52%, which means that um, we can... upgrade something? Well, we could build another house, I guess. Two families when expanded, right. There you go. Alright, they're getting to work on the farmhouse, which is good. Firewood happening. They are gathering. I guess I could build a road, you know, a little bit closer for them. Move out there into the... So they can walk along it, get to the berries faster. Farmhouse coming in. And almost done. Done. So we'll put one family on that. Farming cycles. If the field is not set to fallow, workers will plow it and sow the crop as soon as possible. Yield will increase as it grows and it is harvested in September. Yep. So it's not the best area to build a farm, I know. I should build, you know, a more equitable region. We do have a nice wild animal area for hunting, too, which we'll have to kind of pick up in a moment. Awesome. All right, well, I think this is going pretty well. I mean, I don't know. Look at these vegetable gardens they've got. We've got chickens coming in. How many eggs do I actually have? Oh, food, look at that. Food went way up because they've got berries. This is tremendous. So I think then I can actually probably scale back one family there. And maybe I either want... No, nah, I don't need that, but... I'll have somebody just gather stone for a bit. That's fine. 
But we probably want somebody doing the saw pit. I mean, at the very least, the place looks respectable. And we've got a field now, and we're trying to get some food. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this fun like I am. And I can't wait to learn more about, you know, how I should be pacing out this game as I, uh, you know, just get to know it better. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll check in the next one. Take care.